Hey guys, it's Lindsay and welcome back to my channel and to another plan with me. So for this week, I'm planning out the week of January 27th through February 2nd and I'm using the game day kit that is from Scribble Friends Co. This is the week of Super Bowl Sunday and honestly, I didn't even watch Super Bowl like or the Super Bowl because I was at work, but you know, we still got to use a kit for it. Um, I am going to talk about really quickly... Um, kind of what's happening because the last three plan with me's that I uploaded have been um pre-filmed this is going to be probably the one time that I am going to talk about this like in depth um so if you guys don't want to hear about the coronavirus you can kind of skip through until the actual plans um but I am going to talk a little bit about it it's not going to be anything major or, like anything like super like debatable or anything like that it's just going to be more of like what's happening where I am so for those of you who do not know, I live in California and I also work at Disneyland. So on the 14th, I believe, was the last day that Disneyland was open. So I have been currently at home in self-isolation since then. So I think I'm on like day like uh, 10 or 11 or something at the moment. And um, essentially there is currently a statewide, at least for California, I'm not entirely sure about other states, but there is a statewide um, you must stay at home, like stay at home mandated law at the moment um, for all of California until at least April 19th, I believe that's the date, or until further notice, one of the two, I'm not 100% sure. So I have been essentially at home for the past, um, I did go out last Monday, so it's been a week for sure that I have been at home and not gone anywhere. Um, I will admit I'm going a little stir crazy because I'm so used to constantly working and constantly um, doing like all these different things. Like I, I'm so used to constantly be on the go. So being like home is a little weird. My introverted self is like, I'm totally okay with it. But the other part of me is like, no, Lindsay, you need to be protective and do stuff. So... I am going a little stir crazy. However, it is all purely for the sake of everyone else in my life. I am 25. I have a pretty good immune system. I do get sick pretty frequently, but like I'm only sick for like a couple days and then that's it. And it's usually just like the common cold or allergies. And I am essentially staying home for my parents mainly because my dad has um, diabetes and he already has enough problems with his immune system as is so I am trying to make sure that I'm staying home even though he still has to go to work and he still has to go out because he works in the medical field same thing with my mom but my sister and I are literally trying to stay home as much as possible so that we don't get it and then we end up giving it to them I'm hoping that they don't get it when they go out to work um, but unfortunately there's no like way that they can stop working because they do work in the medical field but it is kind of a scary thing. I think a lot of people did blow it out of proportion by constantly freaking out about taking all the toilet paper and all of the food out of the grocery stores. Like that was a little too much and people did take that way out of proportion, but there are still people that are going out to the beach and going out places and they really aren't caring and they're like, oh, my immune system's fine, but it's more for your elderly people that are in your fam like in your family or your neighbors and it's more taking care of them. So I have been, like I said, in isolation for the past um, like week or so and I will admit it's I am going a little stir crazy, but I am still taking my precautions, washing my hands and not touching my face and even then disinfecting a lot of stuff in our house and mainly doing this just for my family members to make sure that they're all safe. So I hope all of you guys are staying safe. If you have a state mandated, um, like stay in, stay at home, please do it. Please do it for your family, for anyone who is over the age of 65 and just please, please do it. Please take it seriously. Um, I'm not saying that you're not, but essentially this was just my plan with me where I'm going to address it. The one plan with me, I am going to address it and, um, I hope that everyone is staying safe and that you guys are all doing everything you can to not contract the virus and it's it's gonna be hard to not lose your mind while in self-isolation and social distancing but do your best to do that try to stay home and I hope that my plan with me is that I will be uploading hopefully they will kind of give you guys a little bit of entertainment apart from this one because this is kind of a serious topic and we're already on the plans and I still haven't actually finished talking about it but um, yeah, uh, try to stay positive. We all got this. We can do this. We can sit at home and watch Netflix all day. We'll be fine. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my take on it at the moment. Like I said, wasn't going to get into the whole politic part of it. I'm just kind of giving you guys an update on my life since I am kind of stuck at home. And 
yeah. Moving on to the actual plan with me, because you guys literally just saw everything that I put down and I'm not mentioning any of it. Um, I did put down some white with green foil bows for the washi because I did not have a green that matched this so I did just use white with green and the green's still a little bit off but it still worked and then um I did also put down all of my like uh full box overlays are from Scrub Prince Co and they are all in a silver foil also I want to mention this my nails they are bright orange and I'm very well aware of it I am living for being able to paint my nails in non Disney look colors so essentially non like um neutral colors I'm living for it so I'm sorry guys you guys are gonna have to deal with my crazy nail polish the next couple of, like plan with me's because I can actually wear crazy nail polish and not get in trouble at work so I'm like I'm living for it so yeah just want to put that little PSA out there um moving on to Monday for the actual plan so I did put down the work label at the top and then I had a YouTube binge so I put down a munchkin with a YouTube play button for that and then I did get Chipotle for lunch, so I used a, I believe it's a Coffee Monsters Co. little Chipotle bowl for that. And I just used a car icon from the kits because I did get some gas. Moving down, I used a Glam Planner Bippity and Boo on a computer to mark that I was working on my resume. This is when I started working on my resume and everything and prepping for Avengers Campus to make sure that I had everything ready for my interview. So I did start working on that. And then I put down a fancy label and a munchkin that's like an overnight, like overworked munchkin. And I used that to mark that I stared at the computer for two hours. Literally, I was at work staring at my computer trying to figure out what to put in my resume. And fun fact, everything that we put in our resume we actually changed so um it didn't actually stay like that so the two hours that I was essentially staring at my resume did not last for very long like it was kind of pointless um and then underneath that I took a wonton and a million steamy sticker to mark that I literally did nothing at work because I didn't I stared at the computer for like two hours on my shift and I didn't do anything at work so yeah, moving on to a Tuesday, I put down the Bildu from the kit, and then this was when Bailey was still shedding, so I did need to brush her to try to get all of her fur out, so I used a paw icon from Scope Prince Co. for that, and then I needed to tweeze my eyebrows, and I apparently ran out of tweezing, like, stickers, so I used an emoji that's technically, like, shaving. I don't really ever mark when I shave, because I usually will shave my legs and everything when I am in the shower every like not every time I take a shower but like decently every time that I take a shower so I'm like I don't really need the shaving emojis so I use I use that for a tweeze eyebrows and then I did wash the dishes so I used a munchkin that is like standing there with some dishes in its hand for that and then underneath that I took another munchkin to mark a grocery run and guys I have had Oh my god, trying to get groceries with the coronavirus has been the worst because everything is always so sold out and I finally was able to stock up on enough groceries, but I think I went like three times to the grocery store to finally get enough food to last me for a little while. And it took forever because everyone kept taking everything. There was no meat. It was insane. So the fact that I finally actually have groceries makes me happy. I am running a little like lower now because of the fact that I have been in isolation for the past like week and I've been... Um, having to live off of obviously my own food and not having to like go to work and stuff. Um, I have been doing that for like 11 days now. So I'm like, I'm, I'm slowly going to start running out of food eventually. But yeah, so I went on a grocery run and then I did clean up my bathroom. So I used another wonton and a million sticker for that. And last but not least, I used another wonton and a million sticker because I did make some pizza on this day as well. Moving on to Wednesday, I put down a piece of washi and a sleep-in script that is from Station Stickers. And then underneath that, I took a um, camera icon and a film script. Both of those are from Magic Prince Co. Um, to mark that I did film some videos. And then I took a planner from Once More With Love to mark a plan with me binge. Also, once we finally get to the spreads of me being in isolation, you guys are going to see a lot and I mean a lot of YouTube binge, Plan With Me binge, Netflix binge, and D Disney Plus binge because that's literally all I've done and working on a puzzle. Like, that's literally all I've done for the past, like, uh, 11 days. It's fine. It's, it's fine. I'm going a little stir-crazy, but, you know, it's fine. <laughs> um, and a lot of FaceTiming. I've done a decent amount of that, too, which is kind of surprising because I don't think I've ever... I think I've FaceTimed once in my life, and now I've done it, like, four times in the past, like, three days. Totally fine. Anyway, um, underneath that I took a munchkin with a bed because I did need to wash my sheets. 
Moving down, I took a, technically this is a podcast munchkin, but I like to use it because it has a microphone to mark that I needed to record a voiceover. And then I took a fancy label and a bag of groceries from Once More With Love to mark a Walgreens run. No idea what I got at Walgreens, but we got something. Yeah. And then last but not least on this day, I took a trash icon from the kit and a takeout trash, um, or that was to mark out take out the trash. I was going to say takeout trash icon. That's not what I meant. I'm a little sleep deprived. kind of. My sleep schedule is so messed up. You guys have no idea. I am like up until like 3.30 in the morning and then I sleep until like 12 and I'm like, I need to fix this because I am a night owl. There's a reason why I close at work and I am literally a night owl and I'm like, I, this, this, this is terrible because I'm going to mess up my sleep schedule so bad if I do not go back to a normal routine. So yeah, my, like I have had so many not energy drinks like not so many I've had a couple energy drinks in the past like couple of days and I'm like oh my god this is probably why I'm not sleeping at night that and other reasons that I will not get into yet when I get closer to those plan with me's I will but for now we are not um but yeah I think that's why my sleep schedule is honestly so messed up because I don't have a routine and I'm literally just like oh it doesn't matter I can stay up all night and then get up whenever I want and this is why I do not work from home because I would never ever ever sleep normally again just saying that anyway moving on to Thursday I put down the work label sorry I went on a little tangent I apologize um and then a piece of washi and a yay it's payday sticker from Magic Prince Co and then I did get my nails done with Eliza, who is one of my friends and my co-workers so I used a little nail hand for that and then I used two like fluffy munchkins a two mark that we went to Porto's for lunch which ugh I would die for Portos right now. Actually, you know what I really, really want? I really want In-N-Out. You guys know me. I love In-N-Out. I get In-N-Out all the time and I miss it. I miss food. I miss like, I, obviously I eat my own food and like I make my own food, but like In-N-Out, the habit, oh, it sounds so good. I miss it. Portos, uh, Portos. So yeah, we did get Portos. Pizza press. I miss that too. Okay, Lindsay, stop going off on tangents of food. Anyway, we got, went to Portos for lunch and then after that we went to Target. And at Target, there was a bunch of shirts that were on sale, and they were like $10. And there is a really, really cute one, which I have been wanting to buy this shirt off of a website that I saw as an ad on Instagram, but I don't know if I fully trust it. And I was considering buying it, and it's a shirt that has flowers, and then it has like the name of the flower underneath it, and I find it so cute. I don't know why, but I really, really do. And I found one similar to it at Target. So I got really excited when I saw it, and unfortunately when I bought it, it was a size too small. Um, so I did have to go back and return it and exchange it and get a bigger size. Um, but I was really, really excited when I finally found it. So I used a munchkin with the Target cart to mark the Target run, and I used another munchkin to mark that I bought the cutest shirt, which is essentially the shirt that I've been dying to have for so long, and... I was so excited to finally be able to get a shirt that is very similar to the one I want. I still want that shirt. I just haven't decided on if I'm going to buy it yet and I'm probably not going to buy it right now. Um, but I, I do. I want it. I want it. We'll see. Anyway, so yeah, I bought the cutest shirt. And then underneath that I put down a half box and then I used one of the toy soldiers from Toy Story to mark the Blizzard party, which was a private party at work. Um, that was why we were able to go to Porto's and a bunch of other stuff before work because we started at like 6.30. Um, so there was a party on this day that we had to work. Um, and for those of you, you who do not know, because I do work at Disneyland, I like to use um, different like Disney characters that match the spread um, for like to mark parties and stuff like that. So that is what I did. Moving on to Friday, I put down the work label and then um, a sleep in sticker and a pattern piece of washi from the kit and then the sleep in sticker is from station stickers again and then I used a half box and a desk icon from Magic Prince Code to mark that I decluttered my desk and then what, how do I like declutter my desk I'm assuming I like cleaned up like my like drawers and stuff like that I would assume because I'm like wait how do I declutter my desk I usually don't do that um but yeah so I decluttered my desk and then I took a um steamy sticker with a planner which I usually don't mark this but I decided to do it anyway I probably just had nothing to mark which I don't think I did because I only marked six things on this day so I think I just like put it down just because I had nothing else to mark but I did put down the steamy for 
um, marking that I pulled stickers. So essentially I pre-planned for some of my spreads. I know that a couple of you have been asking for a video on how I pre-plan. I do have one up on my channel. I don't know if it's changed much. I haven't like looked at that video. Um, but if you guys do want me to do a pre-planning like how I pre-plan video it's probably very similar to that one um, I can still do it if you guys want me to um, I don't know exactly when I would upload that or like when I would do it but I can totally do it if you want me to I also don't know if it's going to be very interesting but I will still do it if you want me to so let me know in the comments down below if you would want me to do it um, and then underneath that I took a squared off quarter box and another um, Suey or Wonton and a Million Suey sticker to mark that we did get Olive Garden. And then last but not least, it was a kind of a boring day at work and also I was falling asleep because I was so tired from the night before. So I used a emoji like kind of like hitting the clock because that's what it felt like. I felt like my shift was going by so slowly. Um, so I used um, the emoji to mark that I was falling asleep at work because it was so slow and I was just so sleepy. Um, moving on to a Saturday, I put down the work label and a bill due. Um, technically this is not a bill due, but I did like to mark it because it is a reoccurring payment. So this is for my Scribble Prince Co. Um, subscription. Oh, my nose is itchy. Oh, allergies, man. Allergies. Have you guys seen those memes where it's like, I don't know if like, with my nose running, if it's like coronavirus, allergies, or like a common cold, and I was like, me, right now, I'm pretty positive it's allergies, because like the inside of my nose, or not my nose, my ears itch, and that's usually allergies. I think I have a mix of allergies, and then still trying to get over that like sinus infection that I had, so yeah, we fine, it's fine, we're not dying, not yet at least, <laughs> um, but yeah, my nose itches, sorry. Random tangent, I get distracted, I apologize guys. Anyway, I put down the bill due, and then I did get Dunkin' Coffee, which no one is surprised about, so I used a Simply Watercolor Co. coffee cup for that, and then I used a Bippity from Glam Planner to mark another YouTube binge. And then moving down to the second part of Saturday, I put down a Fox and Cactus Girl with some headphones to mark the Unsolicited Advice podcast. I will admit, because I've been doing some puzzles lately, because again, nothing better to do with my life, <laughs> um, I have been listening to podcasts with it, which I actually really, really enjoy. Um, so I'm kind of changing some things up, but it's, it's fun to still be able to listen to my podcast, because usually I'll listen to it when I drive to work. So I'm excited to still be listening to podcasts, even though I'm stuck at home. Um, because I usually don't listen to podcasts when I'm at home. I usually will watch, like, YouTube or anything like that. I'll put on some kind of video, but it was fun to do that. Um, underneath that, I took a half box and a emoji eating some junk food to mark Girl Scout cookies, because y'all know Girl Scout cookies are half box worthy. And then it was a boring day at work, so I used a Fox and Cactus Girl that's, like, kind of side-eyeing to mark that. Um, apparently we had a lot of boring days at work, which makes me sleepy, so yeah, there's that. Moving on to Sunday, I put down the last work label, and then I actually, fun fact, I used this whole entire kit because of Super Bowl Sunday, and I originally did not write down Super Bowl Sunday in my planner. I was like, or like when I was like writing everything down for what I did, I did not write down Super Bowl Sunday, so... I then had to go back and like pull like stickers for it and everything so yeah it's funny because I did a whole kit dedicated to um like the Super Bowl Sunday and I didn't even plan originally to mark it so yeah anyway I used a munchkin with a football to mark Super Bowl Sunday and then I put down a squared off half box and a Spider-Man um Fox and Cactus character because the Avengers Campus form did go live so this was the um form for us to put in for, like that we're interested and that's how they scheduled us for an interview and stuff so um I was super excited about that because I finally was able to put in the interest form and like it's been a thing that has like been like there like I knew it was coming and it's finally popped up and it was really really exciting um we'll see what happens with that if it even gets pushed back or like what's going on with Avengers Campus um whenever Disneyland decides to open but yeah was really excited to finally have the Avengers Campus form up so because I was really excited I use a little happy munchkin for that and then because of that I then was started brainstorming for some things to kind of set me apart in my interview um so I did come up with an idea to do a comic book cover which this is a whole big like thing that's 
Um, I'm not really going to go too much into detail, but I did create a comic book cover, but I needed someone to draw me. So I had to call Sasha, who worked in a different location, and she is actually an artist. So I called her and I was like, I need you to um, draw me. It, and like, I had to pay her and everything because it was a commission, essentially. So I did call her and I was able to get her to agree to do the commission and yeah so I was able to create my comic book cover but I used a little I think she's Sienna from Scribble Prince Code Mark that I called Sasha and then I just used a munchkin that's kind of a little like off because I had so many things that I needed to complete at this point I was like oh my god am I gonna be able to complete all this before my interview there's no way because I had to do my cover letter my resume and the comic book cover but I was able to do it we're fine but I was a little like scared on that day so yeah that is everything for this plan with me I'm gonna flip through obviously what's left in the kits which it's an ultimate kit so there's a decent amount of stuff left over but that will go back into my declutter pile and then I am gonna do a little bit of a viv wiggle which again still really hard to do with these lights I don't know how to do it we're struggling guys it's fine um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me I hope you're all staying safe with the coronavirus and like I said this is probably gonna be the one plan with me that I'm gonna talk about it the next ones will probably just be about like what I'm doing and stuff like that so I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me if you did as always don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and leave me some kind of comments down below and I'll see you guys in another video very very soon bye guys